Hello, I'm Sarah Cox, uh, SJ Cox Arts. I'm an abstract landscape painter based in Surrey. And um, today I want to talk to you about, uh, you know, what do you do as an artist when you get stuck with a painting and you're halfway through it and it just <laughs> feels like it's not working and um, you're not sure what to do next. So I'm in the middle of something. Uh, I'm gonna show you it now and um, yeah. I'm not happy with it at the moment. It's it's not quite there yet. I've got some ideas about how to um, refine and improve and switch things up a bit. And um, I'll show you as I as I rework the painting. I'll show you how it's progressing. So. It's a large scale painting. It's one meter by a meter. And at the moment, it's about probably halfway through. I'd say and things aren't feeling right for me. Um, one of the issues I think is it's really busy. There's lots going on. So I've used sort of oil bar on top of acrylic. I've used spray paint. I've scratched back into wet paint with a palette knife. I've added some textural um, collage materials in there. So there's lots of texture, uh, lots of expressive mark making, but it's all a bit kind of, I feel it's a bit overkill and um, it just doesn't feel like there's, there's, I can't find areas of breathing space within the painting it's it's um, it's a bit frenetic almost too much too much animation I like the mountain here I mean where, it, where the paints flat I think it's quite a nice contrast to all the busyness and I think the reality is I'm just gonna have to lose I'm gonna have to get rid of bits that I might quite like and obliterate those cover them up to give myself some space and some, some kind of maybe flatter areas um other thing i really i'm not happy with is this path that leads down sort of through the painting it's it's meant to be a kind of leading line a focal point and i mapped it in in the kind of navy color because i wanted a contrast with the lovely ye lemon yellows i really like the lemon yellows i think they they work well particularly against that lovely purple that kind of almost burgundy color and the orange um, but there's something about that path that's just not happening for me it doesn't really bed in it's feels like it's been plonked on top at the moment um, so that's gonna have to go that's gonna have to really radically change um, so yeah today I'm thinking about contrast you know where the light elements are in the painting where the darks are is there enough of a range where there's breathing space versus sort of like you know energy and, and animation and uh, and I think probably color wise I mean I like a vibrant palette you know my paintings have they've always there's lots of color in in my work but I'm wondering with this piece you know maybe it's a bit OTT maybe I'm gonna have to knock it back a bit and introduce a few more of these more muted colors like that you know something a bit more earthy a little less and I can't like these dusky pinks actually something not quite so bright so that there's more contrast I think that's the word of the day contrast anyway look I'm gonna work on it and um, I'll just keep dipping back in I think throughout the day and you can see hopefully how you know when you get stuck you just got to work out what's wrong and be prepared to paint over bits you like to make it happen. Catch you later. Okay, so I'm just checking back in. Uh, been working on the painting for about an hour and um, I've really started to obliterate and cover um, <clears throat> quite a large area within the painting. That blue path's gone currently um, and I've just switched to kind of bigger brushes scaling the marks up a bit to, to fit the size of the canvas and I feel like I'm, I'm muting it all down. It's You just need dampening back a bit. I, I think I showed you the colour. Where's it gone? Oh there at the beginning. And I've kind of picked that up, these sort of more muted, um, kind of less in your face. Uh, 
Okay, so uh, here we are. It's had quite a radical overhaul already. Um, I'm quite enjoying the larger brush strokes. I picked up much bigger brushes um, and I feel as though the marks are starting to feel right in relation to the size and the scale of the canvas. And I feel like I'm starting, just starting to get little bits now that I'm like, oh yes, that's quite yummy. I like that. Um, but the colour's changed. <laughs> it's a lot more muted today. Maybe my mood's changed as well. Um, so yeah, check back in. And I think uh, this is going to be a very different painting by the end of the day than how it started off this morning. It's been a couple of hours now working on the painting. What have I done? Um, I've just added a lot of kind of more muted, uh, muted tones actually to the piece. And I think that's then allowed where there are flashes of colour, they kind of pop out a bit more because there's a nice contrast with the kind of uh, paired back colour work. Uh, and I think scaling the mark making up works probably more successfully with the size of the painting. Well, I think the consequence is it, it kind of holds together a bit more now. I felt before it was a bit bitty, it was all a bit fragmented with all the small marks and the bigger ones kind of just, they're just netting it all together now quite nicely. So look, we're, we've turned a corner I think on this. The bit that I find hard sometimes is that I've had to cover and have covered probably 80% of what was there this morning's gone but um, it feels like it's starting to work much more now, so it's worth it. so it's late in the afternoon now and um, I feel like I'm almost there definitely definitely turned a corner transformed really it's still the vibrant color in there but um, I think it's all to do with the, the broader brush strokes actually the larger marks that I've added and the blocking in so there are now some kind of patches where it's kind of quite solid and it's pretty much you know one block of colour and I think that helps flatten out and give those areas of breathing space that I talked about earlier. The final decision I need to make really is how am I going to add some some ink work so I've been doing this on um, current paintings I've been adding these kind of ink um, inky lines really almost like dribbling with the pipette that um, comes with the ink like a dark brown black drawing ink and I've been using that for kind of linear mark making and I've just got to decide do I want to put some ink work in this I think it'd be somewhere at the top where the the fields are in the in the kind of in the distance it's quite wet at the moment so I don't really want to lift it uh, but I use the drawing ink sometimes a little bit of a kind of gray black just to help pick out line work and delineate areas so if I kind of scan from top to bottom, but I think you'll agree it's rather different to how it was this morning. Hi, so it's late in the afternoon now and um, the painting's finished. So it's gone through quite a radical transformation. Um, it really looks markedly different from this morning. Uh, I would say I've obliterated and covered and reworked at least 80% of the piece. I've kept a few, um, a few of the kind of like bits of underpainting that I really, really liked. I suppose they, they kind of anchor the painting in the end. Um, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful and um, you've been able to see my process. So I'm Sarah Cox from SJ Cox Art. That's www.sjcoxart.co.uk and you can also check me out on Instagram. Bye for now.